My name is Taka Awori and I'm the CEO of Busara Africa. Today I'll be sharing with you the key things you need to do to take responsibility for your professional development. Before then, I will talk about some of the things I've seen people do that keeps them stuck professionally. They become their worst enemies and it's often because they tell themselves lies that keep them stuck in growing. These are five lies I have heard from people that prevent them from going professionally. The first is they say, oh, it's not my fault. It's not my fault that I've not grown. It's my boss, it's management, it's the company that's not invested in me. And that prevents them from taking responsibility. Effectively, they abdicate responsibility and play victim. The second lie I've heard people say is they say, oh, it's too late. I'm too old. It's too late. I missed the opportunity to learn that particular skill. I missed the chance to get that right degree. So now I can't grow professionally again in that particular line. That prevents them from growing. The third lie I've heard people say is that, ah, oh, there's too much going on today. I will start tomorrow. That gets them to procrastinate and never eventually take action around their professional development. The fourth I've heard is that, oh, I know enough. There's nothing else I need to learn. And this is a particular lie that those who are quite experienced and senior tend to make. And the fifth one, and maybe the biggest lie I've heard people say is, oh, I'm not enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not old enough. I'm not experienced enough to take the next step. So be careful of these five lies that you may be saying to yourself that prevent you from growing professionally. So what are some of the things you can do to grow and take responsibility for your own growth and professional development? Number one, take time to define what professional success means to you. Not what everybody around you is saying, but personally for you. Number two, Develop healthy professional relationships with people around you. Grow mentors. Develop good relationships with colleagues. These are the people who will support you along your professional journey. Number three, don't be afraid to ask for help and for advice. It's okay not to know what to do and it's okay to ask for help for those who have been along the journey before. Number four, Participate in a community of practice. What is a community of practice? If you have a particular profession, you're an accountant, you're an engineer, there's probably a professional group that can give you advice on how you can continue to hone your professional skills. Number five, be willing to move out of your comfort zone. Your growth does not happen in your comfort zone. It's okay to do things and be awkward. That's all part of the learning. Number six, be willing to invest resources, time and money in developing your skills. Don't wait for anybody to do that for you. Be willing to invest the time. Number seven, be clear about where you want to go, but also have a game plan to do that and stick to it. There'll be moments when you're distracted, but it's important that you're committed to that journey. Number eight, grow others. As you're developing, it's important that you're developing others. Those are the people that will constantly give you feedback on how you can get better professionally. And finally, number nine, don't only focus on the technical skills to grow professionally. Equally invest time in growing within the personal development, ensuring that you're checking on your limiting beliefs, emotional intelligence, emotional mastery, those are the key skills and competence that will probably help you in your profession. So these are the nine steps that will help you take responsibility for your professional journey. Don't wait for others. Start now. Thank you.